Okay, um, I want to talk about positive focus. Um, because you'll hear people say about when it comes to money, um, there's this defining moment where there's change, but it's normally where people have hit rock bottom, found something that stimulated a major change in how they do things. But the same goes for pretty much everything. Um, as some of you will be aware that I've quit work, um, leaving September and going back to Spain. Um, a lot of people wouldn't make that decision. They would um, sit on it. Even if they weren't happy at work, some people sit there for like 20 years unhappy. Um, the only way you're going to change something and be happy is by making yourself happy. A lot of time people will not make you happy um, because there's no interest. The Western world is based on self-interest. They have to create TV shows showing people are actually interested in other people. The reality is most people aren't. Um, people like running people down. People like showing everything in a negative light. They like to show people tripping up. They like to show celebrities failing. Um, you never hear people in the newspapers, for example, go, what a great government we've got. Look what they did. Look what positive change they've got. Because the reality is, they never write it. The whole thing is based on negativity. So to create positive stuff, you've got to start looking at things yourself. Um, if you want to go to the Philippines, instead of going, oh, well, I'll start doing that next year, start doing it now. Um, start seeing what positive changes you can do um, rather than just saying, I will get to it. No, don't get to it. Start it. Start it today. Start looking at how you're going to make things happen. Um, it's like me going to Spain. I'm going to have about 20,000 euros, which will last me a year. Um, but the reality is things will very likely um, move a lot faster than that to the point something will come up within a few months. Um, why did I put the 20,000? Well, initially it was for the house, but I was sitting there thinking, I'm getting boxed in here. Uh, I don't want a company owning me. Um, I don't want to be caught in that housing trap. So I thought, no, let me stick the money in the bank. It's still there. It's not disappeared anywhere. I haven't gone out on a spending spree. Um, I could do this next year. Um, but at the same time, I find if I get time away from things, I make money online that eventually will recover anything that was my downtime anyway. So that's, that's me. I just quit work. Not happy with the way things are. I told my boss exactly that and why I'm going. I don't sit there and go, I'll just have to take it. I'll just have to take it. There's no point. You're not happy. Nobody's happy living like that. And although companies will push people to say, that's all you're worth, the reality is you can push back and say, you know what, I'll go elsewhere. Because in the UK they've got it, right? These corporations and Mickey Mouse uh, government organizations like the NHS, National Health Service, where um, there's too much management on such a simple process, um, they create this whole world of assuming people are replaceable. Um, to the point these people quit, come back on agencies, get paid two or three times this, the amount they're getting paid, and work half the hours. So who loses? Well, the companies, oh sorry, like the NHS, which is a government organization, um, constantly go, we need more money. The NHS hasn't got enough money. It's got way too much money. It mismanages funds like no tomorrow. But at the same time, nobody says, why did you get rid of all those people? Why have you upset them all? Why are they all gone? So that's the same, corporate world the same. Assuming when you leave, um, you can be replaced like that. Reality is, the skill sets are disappearing. There are less and less 
people capable of doing a lot of these jobs um, purely because there's been no investment in training for over 20 years, etc, etc. And also, uh, you get to a point where people are retiring earlier or as soon as they can because they're sick of the work because it's become such a mess. And as such, there's a market there as a consultant on bigger money, working part of the year and doing whatever you want. Because the reality is, as I've done for years, I go, okay, I'm going back to the Philippines, contract's finished, I'm off, I'm on a plane. Companies will not force you to, they won't go around and say, you know what, you've got to stop and do another six months here. Because you don't work for them, you work for you. And that's why I like that independence. But the whole point here is, you need to get hold of your life. Stop other people controlling it. Um, be more positive about yourself. Because everything that other people are doing are pulling you down. What you need to do is realize you're worth more than people are telling you. Um, the whole society is based on running people down. It's, it's just bad. Um, pick yourself up. Turn around and say, no, I'm not accepting this. I'm better than this. Um, invest in yourself. Be happy. Get happy. Find ways to get happy. Understand what's wrong and making you unhappy. Um, all these things are what makes life. Everything else is just mundane, boring, and unexciting. Um, and that's all I can say on it, really. Thanks for watching.